Bonjour et merci de vous, de vous uh, joindre à nous uh, pour cette annonce très importante sur l'avenir de l'industrie canadienne des véhicules électriques. Good morning and welcome to this very important announcement about the future of Canada's uh, uh, electric vehicle industry. I'm Jay Myers. I'm the CEO of Next Generation Manufacturing Canada. NGEN is the industry-led organization that's leading Canada's global innovation cluster in advanced manufacturing. Our mission is to build world-leading advanced manufacturing capabilities in Canada for the benefit of Canadians. We do that by investing and supporting industry-led collaborative initiatives that combine Canada's research, technology, and manufacturing strengths to connect innovation ecosystems, strengthen workforce capabilities, develop unique manufacturing solutions, and then help commercialize them in, in Canada for global markets. NGEN's current portfolio consists of 166 projects involving 374 industry partners, 90% of which are small and medium-sized companies as well as 252 research teams from across Canada. We're investing $220 million in federal funding in those projects. And with contributions from industry, total investment in our leading edge innovations in advanced manufacturing are expected to exceed $607 million by next year. Now, several of our projects have already been completed and they're delivering significant economic benefits to Canada. To date, They've led to the creation of 18 new companies, and they've generated close to $2 billion in revenue in both sales and IP licensing fees. That's an economic return of more than $35 for every dollar that Amgen has invested. Our project partners expect to create close to 33,000 new jobs as a result of business growth by 2030. But the benefits from Amgen's investments don't end there. Our projects are contributing to the health and safety of Canadians, improving food and water security, and improving environmental sustainability. For instance, I'm very proud to be able to tell you that one of our projects has been recognized by UNESCO as one of the top 10 applications of artificial intelligence in the world in pursuit of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Today, I'm pleased to announce that NGEN is investing $33 million in 15 projects that are at the forefront of innovation in the electric vehicle industry. NGEN's investments will be matched by industry for a total value of $76 million. These projects will involve 34 industry and 18 academic partners. They're expected to create more than 3,500 new jobs across Canada's EV value chain when complete and commercialized. Our EV projects will not only sustain and accelerate the development of the electric vehicle manufacturing in Canada, they will, of course, make major contributions to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions through greener and cleaner manufacturing processes and by speeding up the transformation to electric mobility. NGEN is a steward of taxpayer money. We work closely with the federal government as well as with provincial governments across Canada to ensure that our funding and that of our industry partners delivers economic, social, and environmental benefits for Canadians. Our EV, our EV project funding makes a significant contribution to our joint interest in driving to net zero and supporting local economies across Canada. Now, I'm very pleased to introduce Eric Kusmirchik, who's member of parliament for Windsor Tecumseh. Eric also serves as Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Employment, Workforce Development, and Disability Inclusion. Now, apart from being a fellow alumnus of London School of Economics and Political Science, Eric has a wealth of experience developing tech partnerships in Windsor-Essex and was instrumental in launching the first robotics program for schools across the region to prepare young people for careers of the future. That's something that NGEN is very much committed to today. Thank you for joining us, uh, Eric, and I'd like to ask you to say a few words on behalf of the Government of Canada. 
Well, thank you so very much, Jason, and good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that I am joining you from the traditional and unceded territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations, the Ojibwa, the Ottawa, and the Potawatomi. It is my pleasure to join you today from Windsor Tecumseh on behalf of the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, the Honourable François-Philippe Champagne, to share more excellent news for Canada's electric vehicle and battery manufacturing ecosystem. As we all accelerate our efforts to fight climate change and the market for electric vehicles and batteries grows, the global race to attract new manufacturing facilities and jobs has never been more competitive. But this community and Canada together have all the right ingredients to win the race, a skilled workforce, trade access, critical minerals, excellent research and innovation, and strong mining and auto manufacturing sectors. Just a few weeks ago, our government announced a historic $5 billion investment by Stellantis and LG to build the country's first ever electric vehicle battery manufacturing plant here in Windsor. This is the largest auto investment in Canadian history and the largest private sector investment in Ontario's history, right here in Windsor Tecumseh. The facility will bring 3,200 direct new jobs to our community with spin-offs potentially exceeding 10,000 new jobs. It will secure our region's prosperity for today and tomorrow by transforming Windsor, Essex and Canada into global leaders in the transition to zero emission vehicles and the fight against climate change. And again, this was possible because we have the best skilled workforce in the world. Canadians simply build things better than anyone else. And it was possible because our federal government's leadership on climate change, its relentless pursuit of investment in clean technology, and its strong negotiation of a better NAFTA trade agreement. This work has helped secure over $14 billion in new auto investments across communities in Ontario in just the last two years. Partners like NGEN have also played a critical role in creating the conditions for historic investments working directly with the manufacturers and innovators who are powering the shift towards cleaner technologies. The results we're seeing from the clusters have been so impressive that we recently committed another $750 million in budget 2022 to support their work. This complements other budget measures to reduce emissions by making zero emission vehicles more affordable for Canadians and Canadian businesses, as well as support for a national network of charging stations. En plus, nous travaillons avec les fabricants à bâtir un écosystème pour les véhicules de l'avenir avec de l'acier vert, de l'aluminium vert et des batteries vertes, tout fabrique au Canada. We are making targeted investments to create good jobs and ensure the prosperity of Canadian industry, workers, families, and communities. And today I am pleased to announce, on behalf of Minister Champagne, a federal investment of more than $36 million to support the EV manufacturing ecosystem in Canada. A total of 15 projects are being funded involving over 35 partners and leveraging over $40 million from industry, as Jason has already noted. Au total, 15 projets seront financés. Ils impliqueront plus de 35 partenaires obtiendront et mobiliseront 40 millions de dollars supplémentaires auprès de l'industrie et des autres partenaires. With the support of NGEN and partners, projects in Windsor-Essex and across the country will help Canada develop the greenest, most cutting edge battery manufacturing technologies and supply chains in the world, all the way from mining and processing minerals to manufacturing batteries and electric vehicles and to recycling. We are proud of our government's close collaboration with industry and academic partners, and we look forward to continuing that strong partnership as we build the cars of the future right here in Canada. Thank you, merci, and back to you, Jay. Well, thank, thank you very much, uh, Eric. Um, now, with the Government of Canada's support for, uh, through ICED's Global Innovation Clusters program has really been instrumental in, in launching these EV projects. But I also have to say how very pleased we are to have the confidence of the government uh, uh, demonstrated through the additional $750 million that has been allocated for Canada's innovation uh, clusters. 
uh, over the next five years. You know, for NGen, uh, this is money that we're going to continue to invest in uh, the net zero economy, in electric vehicles, in industrial decarbonization, uh, in the circular manufacturing of materials, and all of that can be achieved through the application of advanced technologies uh, in in uh, Canadian manufacturing. But of course, it takes it takes the ecosystem to be able to pull that off. Uh, the combination of our great research and workforce skills of our great technology and startups, as well as manufacturing. And that's what uh, what NGen is is really all about, and that's what's led to the EV projects that we have today. So let me tell you a little bit about the projects themselves. And much more information can be obtained either through a press release or <clears throat> the accompanying project profiles that are both published on our website at ngen.ca. <clears throat> Two general comments to start with. First, each project combines research, technology, and manufacturing strengths from across Canada. In fact, eight of the projects involve interprovincial collaboration. And the focus is developing and scaling up unique production capabilities that will help Canada play a leading role in the global EV stage and attract future investment. Second, all of these projects address critical innovation challenges across the EV value chain, from extraction and processing of critical minerals to batteries, power electronics, fuel cells, components, and materials. The EV industry itself is evolving very rapidly. Today's technologies will soon be replaced by greener, cleaner, and more efficient manufacturing methods. Our projects aim for where the puck is going. They look to the future of EV production, and that's where Canadian innovation comes in. So let's start with critical minerals and metals. The industry needs better ways of extracting and recycling these materials. And we have three projects that aim to do exactly that. CNEM and partners Talon Metal Services, both from Ontario, and Pelcan Energy Corporation from British Columbia, will develop a new recycling process for EV battery black mass using an environmentally friendly approach. Now, I'm an economist, so for those of you don't, who don't know what black mass actually is, it's what you get once a battery has been processed for recycling. And it's composed of critical minerals like lithium, cobalt, manganese, and nickel. This project aims to develop a mini plant to demonstrate the scalability of the process with an, addition, with an annual capacity of 20 metric tons of spent lithium ion, uh, lithium ion batteries. The second project in this field is led by Summit Nanotech and Ionic Solutions, both from uh, Alberta. They're using nanomaterials to disrupt and transform conventional lithium mining processes by manufacturing and exporting environmentally sustainable lithium extraction modules. These advanced materials be used in a process designed to double lithium yield, reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50%, minimize freshwater use, reduce land use, uh, the area of land use by 26 times, and cut chemical waste by 90% compared to traditional extraction methods. Third project, Lye Metal in Ontario is partnering with Blue Solutions in Quebec to recycle solid state lithium metal batteries and develop a greener and lower cost battery system for next generation automotive platforms. So again, these, these projects in the field of critical minerals are projects that are looking at the future, at greener, more efficient processes, to extract the critical minerals that we need for battery production. But several of our projects are also improving manufacturing processes for battery and EV production. Electrovia and uh, Ecomobility, both uh, based in Ontario, are partnering with Lantern Machinery Analytics in British Columbia to develop and scale up a revolutionary, greener, and significant, significantly less expensive electrode processing technology. Electrovia and Ecomobility are also partnering to develop uh, and pilot an advanced laser welding and quality control system for manufacturing high voltage electric truck and battery modules. Damon Motors and Moment Energy in BC are partnering with Darwin AI in Ontario 
to develop an AI-enabled automation system for Damon's new state-of-the-art cleantech EV manufacturing center for their flagship Hypersport and Hyperfighter all-electric smart motorcycles. This center is going to create over 300 new high-tech manufacturing jobs and over 500 operations jobs within the next three years. Calogy Solutions in Quebec is partnering with Linear Automation in Ontario to pilot an intelligent manufacturing system involving thermal management for lithium ion battery production. And finally, in Windsor, NGEN supporting two projects at the new Flex Ion Battery Innovation Center <coughs> that's been established by Flexengate. The company will partner with eCamion and Inspect Tech and Allagas, both near Toronto, uh, to, uh, and, and of course, two other um, uh, Ontario companies and, and academic institutions as well, to develop and scale up new advanced manufacturing processes for the production of lithium ion batteries at this new center of excellence. A great uh, investment, Eric, in, uh, in Windsor, Essex. NGEN is also supporting projects to develop new <clears throat> manufacturing processes for hydrogen powered fuel cells. Cummins, AIS Technologies Group, Shelley Industrial Automations, and Conexio, all Ontario based companies, are partnering to build a pilot production process for high volume manufacturing of hydrogen fuel cells. They'll be working in collaboration with researchers from the University of Toronto, University of Waterloo, and Ontario Technical University to address some of their material and technology innovation challenges. Momentum Material Solutions and Bliss Earth Energy Research, both from Alberta, are partnering to develop and scale up new processes for membrane electrode assembly, which is at the heart of hydrogen fuel cell production. And Ballard Power Systems in BC is partnering with Macrodyne Technologies and Eclipse Automation in Ontario to pilot new manufacturing methods to improve and automate the production of graphoil plates for fuel cells. Finally, we come to projects where we'll be developing and scaling up new production processes for components and materials used in electric vehicles. Three projects here, Precision Resource Canada and Milterra uh, Machining will develop best in class advanced manufacturing solutions that establish scale up and commercialize critical zero emission vehicle components for universal on-road mobility platforms. This technology can also be leveraged to produce sustainable green energy, stationary and backup power, and has the potential to transform other critical industries such as aerospace, off-road, and heavy duty applications. Really, solar technology in Nova Scotia and partner Magna International, based in Ontario, are collaborating to develop a production ready process for fabrication of integrated automotive solar panels and to optimize really solar thin film manufacturing process for application in Magna's automotive polymer panel manufacturing process. The energy from these polymer panels can be used to extend the vehicle's range and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by reducing consumption of grid electricity produced from fossil fuels. And finally, Linamar. Uh, based in Ontario, will partner with West Hill Innovation, also an Ontario company, to develop a manufacturing process to produce compact, lightweight inverter components used in electric vehicles. Inverters are what converts direct current energy from solar panels to alternating current electricity, which is the type used by the grid that powers EVs. We're excited about all of our EV projects, but I can tell you this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what Canadian companies are looking to do to solve many of the innovation challenges that will shape the future of the EV industry around the world. The future is electric mobility. Canada can and we will play a leading role. These projects show how. And NGEN looks forward to supporting more leading edge innovations on the part of Canadian industry in the electric vehicle industry in the future. Thanks again for joining us today. Thank you, Eric, for joining us. And again, you can find more information on our, about our projects on NGEN's website at ngen.ca or by contacting our Director of Communications, Robbie McLeod. Merci. Thank you.